Recently, a woman who survived a domestic violence、uh, situation reached out to me for help, and I just want to let it be known: if you believe that you are in a financially abusive, domestically abusive situation, reach out to me. Write me at info at savemysense dot com. I want to help you. And I want to help you because I know this is one of the main things that keeps people in abusive situations and prevents them from leaving. Even if you are able to leave an abusive situation, your abuser doesn't disappear. They often haunt you, whether it be through divorce proceedings, court-ordered hearings when it comes to custody battles with children, any other things. Your abuser will try to get to you. And the mental energy you have to devote to just deal with that, not to mention the lawyer bills and all the other bills, and just keeping your life afloat, it's a lot to handle. And that's why I chose this particular population to do a lot of my pro bono work because I just believe that this is one of the most vulnerable people that I have to help in the United States is people who are. Domestic abuse survivors. This person who reached out to me—they are in a safe place, thank God. They actually were able to move very, very far away from their abuser. They have secured an apartment, a, a rental that they can re,、uh, renew, and they have a car, which is great. They don't have income. That's when they approach me. They have a small sum of money that they have. They were able to leave with. They're not getting support clearly from their abuser. This person had been forced to basically stay at home and not make money for most of the time that they were in this relationship, and now all of a sudden, bills are mounting because they have to provide for themselves. They don't have anywhere else to go. What to do, Shang? What is this person supposed to do? I took a very, I took a very quick look at their expenses just to see, okay. Do I think that these expenses are in line for the state that they reside in? And they are. This person is keeping. I mean, as low of a profile as possible. I mean, I don't think you can get much lower than what they're spending on life. They have nothing. No nice to haves. No eating out. No conveniences. Just eating groceries and try to find gas for the car. That's the situation. So again, I'm not reaching. I'm not. Teaching somebody who is spending frivolously. No, we're talking about survival. After going through some of the available state level programs, we've determined that this person, right now in their current situation and their demographic, they don't qualify for some of those aid programs. So that's unfortunate. So I said the first thing you have to do is just get any form of income available. We went through this person's. Transferable skills, which unfortunately, when you've been a stay-at-home mom for a really long time, it's difficult to suddenly be like I have all these marketable skills right away. But I identified areas like babysitting, mother's helper, even even as a last resort, doing Uber Eats and Instacart. It's not my favorite recommendation for making money because that's pretty much minimum wage. But I gave them some ideas on how to get. Gigs for babysitting, for、uh, being a mother's helper,、uh, ideas on how to pitch themselves to other parents for、uh, to secure these kinds of clients, and we kind of came up with you know a, a market rate for what they should be charging for this stuff. And I also encouraged them; they were considering two different types of jobs to look for. And sort of given my knowledge of different industries, I pushed them towards one industry that I felt was going to be growing a lot faster than the other industry. Any time you're just trying to find a job, go for a job that lands in an industry that's faster growing, just so it gives you more stability and more runway to work with. And then finally, what to do about all the mounting debt? For now, ignore it. I know that's. Kind of weird sounding, but I broke down their debts into a couple of types, and I was like, "There's some debts that you absolutely need to pay,"、um, the lawyer fees being one of them, because a lot of what's going on in their lives relies on that lawyer working for them. But there's other types of debt that, when you're in a situation where you have almost no income, you can ignore it, and it feels very counterintuitive. But this includes credit card debts, 
other personal loans that you may have taken out from a bank, um, uh, those um, pay-as-you-go loans, like the, the Affirm loans that you try to pay, like split a payment for a product into four uh, payments, as well as healthcare loans. This person had some combination of some of those. And I said, those are consumer debt, they're unsecured. The lenders, when they provide these loans, know that there's always going to be some percentage of these loans that you're never going to be able to collect on. And for this person, it just does not make sense right now to pay the interest on these debts, which are pretty much 30% across the board. I mean, heinous, heinous interest rates. This person is just in a survival mode. So they're going to leave those loans alone and we'll figure it out and hope that they get to a path of um, enough enough income coming in that they can start covering their life's basics and then we'll talk. But until we have enough income for the basics, we're not gonna even bother paying off debt. That just doesn't make any sense. There are ways to get out of that debt in the future, including settling debt or even considering uh, bankruptcy. We are not yet at that point because this person is just so, uh, so new to coming out of this relationship, coming out of this situation that right now it's all about getting stable and getting settled. So that's how I helped this pro bono client. Um, again, I want to put out the call out there. If you consider yourself to be potentially in an abusive uh, relationship or you're, you just got out of one and you need help, reach out to me. I'm here. I am here to help people thrive when it comes to financial wealth and financial health. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like and subscribe.